Spontaneous venous pulsation. What is the relevance? Now, spontaneous venous pulsation, or SVP, is something you've most likely heard of, but when you're learning and starting, it's easy to hear these things, but you need to know what they look like so that you can actually then appreciate them in clinical practice. And so by showing you this video, I'm hoping that you'll then be able to recognize it in clinical practice when you examine your own patients. And this SVP refers to this rhythmic, visible variation in the caliber of a retinal vein where it crosses the optic nerve and it's synchronous with the cardiac cycle. And SVP occurs due to a slight pressure difference between the intraocular pressure and the retrolamina central retinal vein pressure. And so you can see this. Now it's usually seen in about 80% of healthy individuals. So just because you don't see it doesn't mean there's anything wrong. But more evidence is emerging that actually when people had previously seen some reassurance that intracranial pressure was normal if they saw this, there is some new evidence suggesting that even if you do see um, spontaneous venous pulsation, it may not necessarily mean that the patient has a normal intracranial pressure. So don't put too much weight on this, but hopefully you can see that just right in the central part of the optic nerve, the caliber of that optic that vessel is changing so much. So when you do see that, be aware of it. Um, so yeah, bear this in mind, have a look at this finding and let me know what you think of this video.